Okay. Welcome everybody. This is Professor Dan and I am going to go through a Tinkercad. So in the earlier CAD 2 workshops, um, we went through how to make basic parts with Onshape and um, how to make those together. I kind of was trying to be like Bob Ross. He's very calm, paints happy little trees. This one, um, I'm just going to go with my own voice, uh, see how that goes. Could go well, could go poorly. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to use Tinkercad. So Tinkercad is what we're going to use in our class to prototype electrical circuits and also prototype some Arduino. So let's try this thing out. So I logged into Tinkercad, and so... There is a teach button and there's a classroom, but in my classes, we don't use that because that gives me a lot of access, but doesn't let students always log in outside of class. So I always like to have students keep their own designs. So um, yeah, they'll just share their designs with me. So there is a 3D designs, um, and you can see in Tinkercad, they give them funny little names. Um, you're welcome to play around with that, but for me, I like to use uh, Tinkercad for circuits. So we'll click on circuits and you can see all sorts of circuits I've been playing around with. Let's go there and create a new circuit. So the fun part of Tinkercad is, well, a couple different things. We can build circuits, we can make mistakes and burn things out. Um, another fun little thing is if you look up here, it always names it something funny. Um, but let's say, let's just try this LED testing. Um, there we go. So if we want to make an LED light up, even in the absence of Arduino, what do we need? Well, probably need an LED. Let's get a red one, sure, and a resistor. And then probably can get a 9-volt battery, um, a 1.5-volt battery. Try that. And then why don't we get, let's see, what's a good, let's go three batteries on that. Uh, and then let's get a small little breadboard. All right, so now we have some parts that we can use. And so if we click on a part, if we, if we don't like the way that it is um, oriented, we can click on it, click, and then we can rotate it. There, I like my breadboards oriented vertically. And then I like my batteries oriented horizontally. There we go. All right, so let's play around with an LED. Let's see if we can get it to light up even in the absence of Arduino. So we get to choose the color. You know, we can choose red. Red sounds good. And then we put it in. We can make mistakes in Tinkercad. So one of the things that's nice about this is we can put this in and if we attach wires to it, um, this would not actually light up because all of the current would go underneath and none would go through. So let's, whoops, got the wrong one. Let's just flip all the way around. Let's rotate that 90 degrees. All right. So if we want to click this up. So if we just hook up 4.5 volts, so each one of these is 3 or 1.5 volts, 3 times 1.5 is 4.5. And so if we hook up the negative to, to the cathode and then the positive to the anode, what's gonna happen? And you can see that I can change the color of the wires by just clicking on the wires. So if we hit start simulation, what do you think is gonna happen? I think it might burn out. <sighs> oh. And so Tinkercad says, that's not good. So it says current through the LED is 322 milliamps, while the absolute maximum is 20 milliamps. So we stopped that. That's why we need a resistor. So one of the things we can do is plug a resistor, and we can change the resistance. If we use the resistor in our kits, we can change that to 330, and that's kilo ohms. So we click on this, and we go to ohms. So now when we hit start simulation, we have some of the voltage dropping across this resistor. We have some of the voltage dropping across our LED, um, and our current is limited by this resistor. So we hit start simulation, boom, good to go. So now we hit stop simulation. All right, so now what happens if we hook up a nine volt battery? So I'm gonna delete this wire, I'm gonna delete this wire, 
Here we go. And now let's hook up a 9 volt battery. Click on that. And again, I like to have my power as red and my ground as black. Let me see if I can, by rotating that, we can kind of clean up our wires just a touch. Yeah. Maybe not. Well, that's not the best, but let's just see. Oh, so when we have a 9 volt battery and we have the um, resistor, same resistor, we see that it gives us a little warning. And that is because the current through the LED is 20.9 milliamps, while the recommended maximum is 20. And then it says what we know is that the usable lifetime of the LED might be reduced. So we stop simulation. And what that just means is we need to make our resistor a little bit more. So let's change that to 660 ohms. We start our simulation and now we're just fine. And so the amount of voltage drop across an LED is about two volts. And so we have seven across this so we have two volts across our led seven across our resistor to make nine total volts and so our resistance we drop seven volts across 660 ohms and we have seven divided by 660 is about i'll call it 11 milliamps all right, so that's our first Tinkercad. It's just hooking up some LEDs, seeing what happens when we can break stuff, um, seeing that we don't actually break anything, but what we do is we learn a little bit about uh, Tinkercad, how to add things, and how to play around with this.